People like to believe the Guts went through a lot more pain than Griffith in his life. But that's actually really not true. You see, while Guts did go through a lot of bad stuff, being bullied as a child and losing his loved ones in the Eclipse, these are all isolated instances in an otherwise pretty comfortable and happy life. The only real long-term pain and discomfort Guts ever went through was when he made the conscious choice to go killing monsters for two years like some 14-year-old edgelord, which could have easily been avoided by staying in his cave with Casca. This is incomparable to Griffith's year of torture in the dungeon. He was tortured non-stop daily, with no sunlight and no means to speak or move, with no tongue and severed tendons. On top of that, Griffith had to spend an entire year in the knowledge that he would never get out of that situation, ever. At least Guts could move. At least Guts could talk. At least Guts had hope. Guts could never even begin to imagine what Griffith went through. How could Griffith continue walking forward like Guts with no fucking leg bones?